Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hello everyone, welcome to another rhetorical episode of Cut the Tape. I am Rick Alvarez here at the world famous Frame and Picture Shop. And I actually don't know what I'm opening today. You see, I have this thing called a, uh, a box of loot. And I had the box of loot shipped here. Why do I have it shipped here? Because I don't want my lovely, very understanding wife to see it. So, I got three huge boxes from Big Bad Toy Store. Let's open them up, see what's inside. All right, I'm gonna start with the medium box. And you know what, I'm opening up my pile of loot and I'm not trying to show off what I'm getting. I'm not trying to show, no, I, I'm that guy that waits until it's like, you have 10 days before this will ship automatically. So I literally let it sit there for months. Just because I don't, I don't want to deal with it. But I have to deal with it now. Now is the time that I deal with this. And if it wasn't for the show, I promise you these boxes would just go into the back with the other boxes and they would never get opened. So let's see what we got. I, it's always confusing when they send me a postcard, like like a flyer. Like, well, this is the first. Not only do I have one, two, three, four, five. Not only did I get my invoice stapled, it's six pages long. Definitely don't want my current wife ever seeing that. All right, so I definitely got some Transformer stuff in here. Awesome. I've got Super 7 RC reaction figure, or sorry, is it Super 7? I think Super 7 owns them. Yeah, the, yeah, Super 7 react. I think reaction started as its own thing and then Super 7 bought them or merged with them. So we got RC, we got Prowl. These are great for autographs, by the way. We got Reflector. We got another Prowl because you gotta open one, keep one sealed. Got another RC. These are absolutely great for autographs. A Grimlock. Grimlock. Reflector. And Reflector. And somewhere there should be a fourth Reflector because, uh, yeah. I gotta have three loose ones. And then that's, that's a thing that I do. It's, that's, that's my condition. Um, this is something new. This is, remember that movie Chappie? This is a three and three quarter inch action figure, one eighth team scale, or, you know, some would say modern GI Joe or Joe scale. This is a uh, Brave 13 robot. It's just a robot. I thought it was really cool to say, hey, I got this robot and he's on my USS flag or something. I don't know. I um, So I built a USS flag in my basement. It's 16 and a half feet wide, six and a half feet long, and fits 26 Sky Strikers on it. Uh, I got an alien to attack my Cobra guys. And I got two, because you can't just have one. So I add this to the pile of aliens waiting for me to open one day. This is cool. I'll probably build this here in the store. This is uh, Acid Storm. You built one, you built them all. Ah, my Moon Studio Raiden was finally complete. One, two, 
I got three at home. There's, there's one somewhere in a box. But these are huge. We're gonna open one of these because these these are amazing. Let's just skip through the box and see what's in there. This is MP55 Destron Ninja. MP55. Do you remember when we started with MP01? And here we are at MP55. Not, you know, never mind that there's like A, B, C, you know, Ghost, whatever. Uh, MDLX Bumblebee. This is that like super posable Bumblebee action figure. That's kind of like in a G1-esque slash bay universe. We'll open that too. We'll put that on the pile of stuff to open. Um, MP53 plus Cybertronian High Counselor. I think this is the Gray Skids. So when you think about it, there's there's got to be close to 100 masterpiece figures. When you think, oh, it's 53, 53 plus and 53 minus and then 53X and a whole bunch. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This is Masterpiece Armada Megatron. I gotta get the Optimus. I gotta get the, oh look, the box is ripped. That's okay. I mean, the box is cool. The box is a very, very nice touch. Very reminiscent of the Armada box, but I'm not buying this one for that. I'm buying this one to open. That's an open. And then the rest, we just got Thundercats. Oh, no. We got Bombshell. Humaira from Thundercats. Oh, we got Optimus Prime. Banzai Tron. Ghost of Starscream. Interesting that they started with the Ghost. Mumra, the Ever Living. Tigra. And Groon. I have, as of yet, I think what. What is this, wave four, wave three? I haven't opened a single goddamn Thundercats figure yet. Not a one. Not even the ones Mattel did. They're just, I haven't even, I haven't gotten to them yet. I haven't gotten to them yet. Oh. You've seen one masterpiece, you've seen them all. But, um, I don't know. I guess we'll start off with Bombshell because that was the first one I, I picked out of the box. So we're going to open Bombshell. And then these I'll just put back. Back into the box. Back into the box. Let's move on to another box. We'll do the small box now. Whew. sure how interested you guys are going to be in this stuff, but I'm interested. I got some Mo2 figures. I, I'm i only getting these to keep these sealed. I'm not, I'm not messing around and getting, I just, you know, I don't have room. I don't have room. But I do think I need to get an extra Sun Man. Sun Man. Champion of the Sun. Oh! Now, these are great. This is the uh, Panther Alien done in the old Kenner style, but it comes in a box. I really want it to come carded. It's such a tease. Look, it, it's even got like the blister outline on here. It's such a tease that it doesn't come carded and I got the they don't usually release the, the you know the figure and the redeco at the same time oh this is I don't collect Marvel stuff I, I really just I you know Hulk Thor sure but then <laughs> I just I just had to have the watcher 
Iatu the Watcher. I mean, just look, just look at that. Just look at that head. Just look at that. He's like a big baby. Hey, look, I told you I collect Hulk Thor stuff. Here's another Hulk. Another Hulk to add to the collection. You know, this is, I mean, look at those faces. You know, that's like, oh, I did something I shouldn't have done in my pants. Face. A horror trooper. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna open this. I'm not into the super deformed stuff. It's, it, you know, I'm just not crazy about the super deforms. I'm probably not gonna open that. I'm probably just gonna put this in the Optimus case. As is, it comes with a bunch of extra, you know, hands and the Energon Axe and Blaster. Looks like it has three sets of hands. I'm, I'm just not into the cutesy, cutesy stuff. Anyway. to the watcher crazy 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 so nothing, nothing in this box that i want to open on on cut the tape that doesn't mean it's a bad box it's just like you know i'm never going to open those alien figures never going to open those he-man figures I'm not going to open that i you know i i feel compelled to get that stuff just because like Oh, it's part of the collection, and it's, oh. Now, there is something in this box which I desperately want to open and put on display right here in the store. A while ago, I went in on a HasLab project and got... my uh, proton pack. <laughs> now, I got the neutrino one that goes with it. We're definitely opening that. Absolutely. Oh, you know, uh, Falrog, mandatory repaint. I, I don't really remember this guy from the show, but I'm sure he was in there. It's a cool figure, regardless. I kind of want one in red, like a red gargoyle. Mm, that'd be nice. That'd be nice, a red gargoyle. Okay. Um, Mega Constructs, not Lego. Clean that stuff. I have every set. I am yet to open one. Oh, I think I opened, I think I opened a tiny one. This is, Oh, this is for the store too. This is for the store. We'll open that. I got Windblade. Don't really see the appeal to the character. Mini Mates. We'll open those. Oh, you know, upgrade set for uh, Monkey Prime. Oh, Cliff Jumper model kit. I opened the Bumblebee one. I think I opened the Bumblebee one on here. Just, nobody wants to see me build a model kit. No one. Uh, oh, very nice. You know, die cast, G.I. Joe Cobra. Um, titanium figures. There were titanium G.I. Joe Cobra vehicles made. Um, but they were never released. They never got to production, but they we definitely had the prototypes. Oh, find a better place for that eventually. But yeah, that's gonna stay. Love G2. You gotta love G2. Love G2. Oh, cool. Those are the sign. Yeah, we'll open those. More, more aliens. You know, which is... Just... 
uh, package art portfolio set. Um, I assume this is stuff I'm going to frame. Oh, more He-Man. Terra Claw Skeletor. Uh, Devastator mouse pad. Why not? Why not? More more reflectors. More, more reflectors. And oh, this is for the store. That doesn't sound good. Woo! But it's good. Sort of omens. Fancy letter opener. Moonbot. Um, premium figure. I think that's Ratchet. And I got a bunch of these signs. Wow, that was it. I mean, I, you know, I say, oh, that was it. But yeah, I mean, that's a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm, it's going to take me, it's going to literally take me years to open and assimilate all this stuff. Anyway, this is for the store. This is for the store. I'm actually going to, I'm really excited about this. This is not Transformers, though. This is something I'm going to frame and then try and resell in the store. Goonies. I love color ID, you know, when it says spam risk, I just, you know, don't pick up. Um, this is actually the map coin and the one-eyed willy key. So I'm gonna do a really cool shadow box with that. Frame that for the store. Um, yeah, wow. I'm, just, I'm overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed with, you know, you get, you know, I, I wait until like I have to ship it before it ships, but like, then I get it and it's, you know, two, three boxes. This is the first time I ever got three boxes and I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. There's so much to open. I, I don't know where to start. I really want HasLab to send me my proton pack. Really, really, really. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Oh, very nice. Oh. I'm actually gonna... Cut this cardboard. Woo! Neutrino wand. Comes with a nice little display base. Comes with the hook for you to hook it into your proton pack. It's a little smaller than I thought. Oh, I love all the little buttons. Beautiful. 
and this thing actually lights up great fantastic oh man I wish I could have had one of these as a kid. Here's the base. We'll use that until the time comes when I get the proton pack. Oh, let me show you what one of these are. These are really limited, by the way. But I got these. I got a set for myself, but then I got a set to put inside a framed art. So you're accenting the art with a little touch of something that can't be recreated easily. Look at that. Transformers 2010. It's not 2010. In Japan, it was not 2010. It was 2010. That was the correct pronunciation. So this would be in a frame and then there'd be like appropriate artwork behind it. And then, uh, you know, you charge a premium because it's got this little acrylic little thing. And these are great too. You put them, you know, in front of your toys. So, you know, oh, that's too, uh, you know, I'll put that there for right now. But, you know, I got all the Beast Wars ones, all the G1 ones. They're all there. They're all there. So that's one thing. I suppose we should open a real Transformer. I mean, everyone's seen the moon stuff by now. I feel like everyone's seen... I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Super 7 bombshell figure, Siri 1. Comes in a nice box to protect it. Comes wrapped in plastic, which protects the box from scuff. That's important. Very nice. Very nice detail. It's this bombshell on the back. Very nice. Exceptional. Exceptional packaging. It's beautiful. You can tell someone put love into this. You can absolutely tell someone put love into this product. Here's about how I'm gonna show you. That's the figure, right? It's detail like that. That's the type of, that, that's the type of detail that anyone who's working on a legacy brand should put into their product. Absolutely beautiful. He has three sets of hands, two weapons, comes with his Action Master helmet. This is a lot, lot bigger than I thought. Do I have a, no. I cleared out all my figures. Holy crap, this, it, I mean, I almost don't want to open it. We're going to be really careful opening this box. We don't want to crease it at all. that that's the type of love you want a designer that it's not just a designer 
the toy designer and the, the packaging designers working together. It's the marketing team. The, I don't know anyone on the Super 7 marketing team, but I promise you, whoever's on their marketing team understands what's happening here. They, they buy into the vision of what's supposed to be happening here. You know, other companies, not naming names, their marketers. Who, who's Optimus Prime? Should I see the Star Wars movies? If I'm gonna work on Star Wars? It's, you know, it's just the brand they're assigned to. Holy crap. Well, first of all, the articulation is amazing. Way more articulation than I thought on this. It's a subtle bouquet. You definitely smell the plastic. I mean, size alone. This thing is absolutely, I mean, this is, it's an interesting choice to do Bonsai Tron and Bombshell, and then to do Action Master Bombshell. Very interesting choice. Very, very interesting choice. Absolutely amazing. The weapons are fantastic. The hands are. I, uh, I think Super 7 Ultimates Transformers may win Rick's figure of the year. I, I think that's what's happening here. And I'm just. I, I didn't even open Optimus or Starscream. Core characters. Those are tier A characters. I'm opening up a bombshell. I may need a second set of these to keep sealed. Wow. Absolutely amazing. How easy is it to remove? Super easy to remove the hands. I love it. Oh, and it goes right in. Only complaint, unless I'm using the wrong set of hands. Which I believe I was. Yep. I was using the wrong set of hands. Wow. Impressed doesn't begin to explain the sentimentality that I have towards this line. And I haven't even opened the other characters yet. Well, that's gonna do it, that, that's it. I'm done, I'm spent. Cut the tape. I'm glad I did. I'm absolutely glad I did. Check out the whole TFYLP network, or don't, I don't care. You're a free American, or maybe you're not American. Americans aren't free anyway. Wash your hands, get vaccinated. Be kind enough to people. Use your own discretion and um, scattered brain Rick saying bye. Thank you. <laughs>